If you want to know the best Netflix original series, you should definitely watch our picks for the best ones of the 2010s. Welcome to the death of the age of reason. There is no right or wrong. Not anymore. We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good TV show again. Number 10. Mindhunter, 2017. You see, Bill, I knew a week before she died I was going to kill her. Mindhunter is a crime thriller television series created by Joe Pinal. Serial killers are as interesting as they are frightening, and both are caused by one fact – we don't understand their minds. Solving the riddles of the mentally ill remains a big challenge for law enforcement. This is why a team of FBI agents working for the Behavioral Science Unit try new strategies in hunting down modern psychopaths by interviewing already imprisoned ones. But finding answers is not easy. Not in a world of violence and darkness. There's one thing I know, it's this. A mother should not scorn her own son. If a woman humiliates her little boy, he will become hostile and violent and debased. Period. Number 9. House of Cards, 2013. Frank made sure of that. Well, if you want to push the sludge through Congress, it's best to have grease on both sides of the aisle. House of Cards is a political thriller television series created by Bo Williman. People are able to do unexpected things when confronted with power, including Frank Underwood, a congressman in Washington, D.C. who was passed over for appointment as Secretary of State. Now he sees his chance to gain political power as the country's leader. He initiates a long-term plan on his journey through a world of politics that is formed by mistrust, betrayal, and lies. But Frank knows how to use this system. Well, he must be on top of the world. I, I can't imagine. Oh, really? How old are you, 35? 36. Oh, you've never thought about it late at night? White House? What else? Have you? Haven't we all? Number 8. Love, Death, and Robots, 2019. Okay, easy. No sudden moves. Let's just wait until it decides to get up again, okay, bud? We're gonna get through this. How long will that take? Hours. Perhaps years. Love, Death, and Robots is an adult animated science fiction anthology television series created by Tim Miller. It is a collection of animated short stories that span various genres, including science fiction, fantasy, horror, and comedy. The series is produced by Joshua Donan, David Fincher, Jennifer Miller, and Tim Miller, and each episode was animated by different crews from a range of countries. It is a reimagining of Fincher and Miller's long-in-development reboot of the 1981 animated science fiction film, Heavy Metal. Is it working? Uh... What? There's a strange rhythmic kind of noise that's emanating from it now. Uh-oh. What, what, what do you mean, uh-oh? Well, I don't want you to panic or anything, but I think you've activated it. Act, what, what does that mean? Number 7. The Haunting of Hill House, 2018. Go ahead, I'm listening. This house is bad, Dad. It's bad. The Haunting of Hill House is a horror drama television series created by Mike Flanagan. In the summer of 1992, a couple and their five children renovate an old house far away from civilization. But events that are beyond the understanding of us human beings come nearer and nearer. We follow the family through the first encounters with supernatural horror, and later become witness how they influenced, or rather destroyed, the protagonists' minds. But what actually happened? What can they still believe? I need you to get Luke and Nell to the car. You get in, lock the doors. Don't unlock them until you see me come outside. Do you understand? Oh, it's happening. Get them to the car. I need to get Steve and Cheryl. It's happening! Go. Number 6. Narcos, 2015. Narcos is a crime drama television series created by Chris Brancato. Back when drug dealers wore flip-flops and looked like hippies, things were easy for detective Steve Murphy. But not anymore. This dark and gritty show follows the chronicles of real-life events of the late 80s drug kingpins like Pablo Escobar. With realistic but horrifying violence, we encounter the world of unbelievable efforts of law enforcement trying to shoot them right in the head. But the war against cocaine is not easy especially in a world of drug lords. Oh, huevos, Pablo. Al Capone is a pésimo example. Why? 
Pues porque Al Capone nunca tuvo tanto billete, Pablo. Esto es demasiado para lavar. Bueno, compremos una lavadora más grande, pues. Number five. Stranger Things 2016. Lucas, they're on us. Stranger Things is a supernatural drama television series created by the Duffer Brothers. This love letter to good old 80s horror adventure film follows a group of young nerdy friends. But when one of them goes missing without a trace, the boys' worlds will make a literal 180-degree turn. A story about beasts from parallel dimensions, people with superhuman abilities, and mysteries that are about to be lifted are what makes Stranger Things so suspenseful, along with charismatic characters that try to maintain the world as they know it. Number 4. Better Call Saul, 2015. You're not a real lawyer. I'm what? You're not a real lawyer. Better Call Saul is a crime drama television series created by Vince Gilligan and Peter Gold. The story follows unsuccessful lawyer Saul Goodman. We follow him on his journey as he tries to establish himself as a professional lawyer, but again and again gets kicked on the ground by the obstacles of life. As he is pushed into illegality, tricking and lying, we witness how a man who once tried to do the right thing falls from grace, causing a domino effect with consequences to come sooner or later. I know what you were, what you are. People don't change. You're Slippin' Jimmy. And Slippin' Jimmy I can handle just fine, but Slippin' Jimmy with a law degree is like a chimp with a machine gun. The law is sacred. Number 3. Dark, 2017. I you. Licht, der Wald, als ob das alles schon mal passiert ist. Dark is a sci-fi thriller television series created by Baron Bo Odar and John J. Fries. Children start vanishing from the German town of Winden, bringing to light the fractured relationships, double lives, and dark past of four families living there. Starting in 2019, the show often jumps in time to reveal more and more revelations that go further than our understanding. Deep, twisted and breathtakingly suspenseful, Dark follows several damaged characters dealing with a tragic past, first and foremost the teen Jonas after his father's suicide. Ein Fehler in der Matrix. Was? Wenn die Welt eine Simulation ist, dann ist ein Déjà-vu ein Fehler in der Matrix. Oder eine Botschaft aus dem Jenseits. Number 2. Black Mirror 2011. Do you eat? No. I mean, I don't need to. I can chew and swallow if that makes it easier. Don't worry about it. Black Mirror is a British science fiction anthology television series created by Charlie Brooker. Set in a world only minutes from our own, it examines modern society, particularly with regard to the unanticipated consequences of new technology. It unveils how technologies can backfire and be used against their makers. Every episode is set in an alternative present or the near future, with different characters combating different types of technology, often with a dark and satirical tone, although some are more experimental and lighter. See you tomorrow, JJ. See you, Lacey. <laughs> oh, saw your boy in the fire hat just now. So cute. Yeah, he's really something. <laughs> Before we unveil movie number one, here are a few honorable mentions. You were right. What you told me over the radio that night. Not everyone deserves a happy ending. You! Os dije que iba a protegeros, ¿verdad? Pero he cambiado de idea. Mucho más práctico torturaros. I will always be half king. My tragedy is that I have no kingdom. You have it. And you must protect it. Number one. Bojack Horseman, 2014. The year, 1984. Movie's over. 
watch the next one. Oh, I'm tired of watching movies. BoJack Horseman is an adult animated television series created by Raphael Bob Waxberg. Things used to be smooth sailing for the anthropomorphic horseman BoJack, one of the most famous sitcom stars in Hollywood. But things have changed and years later, BoJack is just a shadow of his former self. Crippled by depression and a life that has lost meaning, he is living from day to day without a plan. Extremely cynical, dark-humored, and hilarious, BoJack Horseman deals with serious topics like depression in a new, drastically reimagined way. Do you think I'm a good person? Deep down? That's the thing. I don't think I believe in deep down. I kind of think all you are is just the things that you do. Well, that's depressing. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. If you want to know more about a particular TV show in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 TV show videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.